Alright, so we're continuing Hilchas Basel Bachal of Simen Tzadik. Simen Tzadik deals with Kachal, with the other of the cow. What we'll do today is we'll do a little bit of a review and elaborate a little bit more on some of the details that maybe were not clear enough uh, from last time. In other words, we'll go through Sif Alab, Sif Beis, and if we have time, we'll go through the whole Ramon. It's a long Ramon, Sif Beis. Various Klalim here, various uh, scenarios where the Mechab and the Ramon differ, and this has to do with the Mechlekes of Rashi, Toysfes, Rambam, quite a few Rishonim that differ on how Chal is, if at all, how it is mutter to cook, to fry, to roast, if at all, in what circumstances. Obviously the problems involving Chal are unique because there is some sort of Chalav, potential Chalav, or something similar to Chalav, whatever you want to call it, in the other of the animal. Perhaps we didn't explain enough uh, what the Mechaber points out in Sif Allah that the issues concerning Kachal relate to Ben Shel Ketano Shelo Hinika Ben Shel Gdoilo. I think that's something that we should uh, perhaps uh, clarify a little bit more. Uh, as you know, some animals are able to uh, provide milk for their calves. You know, mammals, right? Uh, they're not able to do that when they're young, when they are calves themselves, when they are, you know, are not able to perhaps reproduce. It's only after a certain age, depending on the animal, uh, two years or three years, that the animal is able to reproduce, and, the able, uh, and if they're able to reproduce, it is able to nurse its calves. An animal that is able to nurse, to give milk, may have more milk than an animal that is not able to provide milk. A young calf, and they both have an udder, but perhaps I would think that the udder of that which cannot provide milk is different than the udder that does provide milk, that does have milk uh, at the time that it is nursing, right? We would assume that there would be a difference, and actually this comes from the sugya. From the sugya, there's somewhat of a discussion around this area of shelohinika or shehinika, now, does it make a difference or not? The maskana, we say that it does not make a difference. The kachal of an animal that is inika or lo inika is the same. But the chidush, in Gemara, there is a chidush. If not sugya, uh, depending on if you learn Rashi's uh, way of looking at the sugya or Toysa's way of learning the sugya. From Rashi's way of learning the sugya, it would appear that the chidush is that even a kachal of shaloi nika would be usher. In other words, the problems presented by Kachal, which is, an, which is still a Durabana, but nevertheless the problems presented by Kachal would in, include or involve even Shalohi Niko, that's the Chidush. And the Chidush of Benotam, the Chidush of Toysus, would be that which we allow in Kachal, after cutting, up, after cutting it up properly, is, only, is not only with Shalohi Niko, but even with Henika. In other words, even if you have more milk involved, because it's a Henika cow, right? Still, what we're allowing, the, the way that we're allowing Kachal, in other words, after proper preparation, would be permissible even with Henika. So the Chidush of Kachal would, di- would be different if whether you learn Rashi's way, that, the, it, that it's of course also Midevrehem, that the Kachal is also Midrabanon, and that would include even Kachal Shelo Henika. Also is also, and the Benu Tam's way of, of seeing the Chiddush in the Sugi would be, no, that once we allow it in a permitted way, we're saying even Shehinika is more. Does Shehinika is the past tense? Currently, yeah, Currently. yeah, Menika, yeah. You know, it was one that has been able to, has, because it, it has more milk. I thought maybe that would be an important point just to clarify. We went through it quickly, yeah. So this is also part of the Sugi over there. But the Rabbanon is for... Right. So let's go over just a little bit the whole sugya of Kachal, as, as much as possible, without getting into the table or the charts, which we maybe we'll leave to the end of the simon, of, of what the various sheets hold. We're dealing with something unique. We're dealing with a piece of meat that actually the Chachamim tell us that if you want to taste Basar Bacholov, here it is. Here's a permissible way of tasting Basar Bacholov. So the question is, of course, how to go about it, because in the end, we're concerned. I mean, this may create problems in the future. That's what Xeras are all about, decrees that the Chachami made, that uh, one should not come to cook Basar Becholov. So, real Basar Becholov. So even though this is not real Basar Becholov, still, the 
Chachamim were concerned that one should not, uh, you know, make the mistake of saying, well, if this is mutter, this is mutter. What is exact heter behind kachal? Well, the, the, the heter in itself is learned from a drasha of bachalev imoy, not of ashegdil bachalev imoy, velo bachalev shchu, velo bachalev shchuto. Right, not the milk of a shchuta, an animal that has been slaughtered, the milk, any milk that may still be in that animal, within the walls of the udder, is only also midrabanan, it was to cook that with uh, meat. Still well, also. In the milk of its mother, that's where the prohibition right. applies. Right. And the prohibition does not apply with respect to the milk found shkuta. in the stomach of right. a slaughtered yeah. cow. That which can be oh, a in mother. The or the, in the stomach? In the udder. Not in the stomach, not because stomach. if you slaughter a calf, shkuta. if you slaughter a calf, that's not halal No. That milk with it, which is within oh, the cava. When you left the cow. The what? Yeah, 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 right, right, right. But, but, as we, but as we pretty much explained last time, that milk which is found in the cava, in the stomach of the calf, would be usher, right? One is within the walls and one is just sitting there, like but a cup, like a plate. Didn't we say that the difference that once the milk, that's when it becomes, while it's in the other... Right. The way, yeah, the way it is in, the way it is, it's kanus betoch, you know, it was within the, the kechal. Whereas in the cave, it's just like sitting there. Is it because it's how not, it's, it's how it's, it's how it's contained. How in it's it? contained in it, yeah. We didn't say that it was yeah. as long as it did the cow that was the difference. That leaving the cow made a difference once it no. comes out of the. No, as we explained the, the yad, air. as we explained the yad Yehuda says, uh, learning in uh, into Rashi, that so long as it has not left, it's not even considered milk. Yeah, that's what I mean. Right. Yeah, yeah. that's the way yad Yehuda. But it's called chalav shkuta. Right, right. Still, after the fact, it's called chalav shkuta. So, so the sugyo over there is it's a very long sugyo, and there's various ikad de amri there, and that's what lends to a little bit of differences between Rashi and Toysus and how you understand the sugyo. What exactly is the translation? There are some who say. There are. Yeah, there are other opinions. Ika. Ika, there are. There are. Yesh. yesh. Ika is in Aramaic yesh. Uh -huh. The amri who shomrim. Yeah. That's who say. Yeah. So we have various ways of learning that sugyo, and that is why we have the various mechulikasim. Nevertheless, everybody is pretty much in agreement that the kachal has to be midrabanan, has to be cut up in a certain way if you want to have it. If you did not do it properly, you're not over, right? You're not over means you're not over on the achila, you're not over on the bishul, because the whole thing is really motor, midoraisa. It's only an initial midrabanan. So there are certain halachas that apply to it, lechatchila. And there are certain halachas that apply to a bidi evet. The question is, in the bidi evet, of course, would the kachal be mutter or also if you did not do what you were supposed to do? And whether you cooked it or roasted it with other meat, which complicates the situation even more. When it's by itself, it's less of a problem. When it's with others, as we began to explain last week, then you begin to have a more complicated situation because you have the milk or whatever you call it, I mean, the, the milk, traveling and absorbing the flavor of the other meat and coming back and assering the kachal. In other words, it's no longer by itself, which is really mutter. Now you're introducing it with other meat. So it's like a similar situation of basar bechalov, that it's going to be absorbing, that milk will absorb. It's not the kachal, it's not the problem in the kachal, as much as the problem in the milk, as we're going to still see, absorbing other absorbing the flavor of other meat. That's going to pose here problems. So here, just in reviewing what we said last time, we have a machloikis rishonim on how to understand the, the various scenarios, the various issues over here. And we said that there are various examples. You have an example of kachal that was cooked by itself. You have an example of kachal that was uh, roasted by itself. You have an example of kachal that was cooked with other meat. An example of kachal that was roasted with other meat. Right, and in, in the Ramal, actually, there's also two additional examples. One called tigun, the machvas, which is frying in a frying pan. And it was what is the din of tigun? That in itself is a question in various other halachas in the area of hagola, libun, a frying pan. What what's the status of a frying pan? Is it more like cooking? Is it more like roasting? Using oil or not? What if you don't you use oil? What if you use those frying pans that are what do you call them? that you don't need any, any oil on them. Teflon. Teflon, yeah, whatever, yeah. Anyway, 
So machvas in itself is a separate uh, category somewhat. And then you have something called pastida, which we'll talk about in the Ramah, mentioned in Hilchas Melicha as well. Pastida is a uh, filling. It is dough, which has a filling, yeah, a filling of meat, stuffed. Like you have stuffed chicken, right? something that is stuffed. It's so like a, pasta, a pie. A pie, exactly. It's a pie of sorts. That, so what is the, what is the exact uh, um, status of a pastida in relation to bishul or afia when it's by itself being baked? I mean, because, it's, because the meat that we'll be talking about, in this case the khal, is within a dough. It's covered. It's, it's covered, right. Whereas in melicha, you have a little bit of a different uh, problem over there than you have here. I mean, the, the, even though this appears there too, you know, uh, there's a question of whether you can bread the, you know, what happens if you breaded the chicken or the meat before you did the melicha? It was, are, you, are you clogging it? Are you closing it in? Or what if it was in the pastida? Right? So, the, you know, the, this question does appear actually in the last simon. Simon Ein Ches is the last simon of uh, Melita. So this din of Pastida appears there in the Ramah as well. So, uh, interesting halachas, you know, what happens if you find the heart. <laughs> you know, you, you did everything and the heart was inside. You know, the heart and, or liver have to be cut up differently. So even though you may have done Melita to the outside, it is not necessarily cover the the cover the cover the liver and the and the lathe covered has a lot of blood the liver has a lot of blood and has to be done in a very different way so yeah and it's in the last mamash the last Ramos of Simon and Ches that uh, the Ramos says Pastida yesh lo kol din bishul bekdeira ben lechumro ben lekulo ben lechumro so we're going to see it later on the Ramos just wanted you to understand, to understand what Pastida is that it it encloses in such a way the meat, which is the filling, inside of it, and it presents a little bit of a separate problem. Obviously, if you, that's, if you, that's if you fry it. If you roast it, if you, in other words, put it on the outside barbecue, uh, it, it won't really, really matter, supposedly. Okay, so, but it's important to know that that Ramon says, Ben Kula Ben Chumra, but here we're going to see that it's a little bit, in Hilchas Khal, it's a little bit different, only because Khal in itself is something lenient. It's not a real Isser. So the Halachas of Khal in a Pastida will be different as well. Okay, just wanted you to understand that idea of what a Pastida is. Various and forms... Of, yes, of course. Khal is meat. Khal is meat. And it would require its melicha, it would require everything that you do for meat, for any meat. It's, it's ordinary meat. Yeah, the only question here is we have this cholov that is, that is uh, within the walls of the kachal, and because of that, even though after doing everything, by the way, after doing everything properly, you still will have a flavor of sorts in the kachal, it's permissible. And that process involved cutting it up, sheti ve'erev, in both directions, and tocho bekoiso, all in lechatchila, which means squeezing it out, by applying pressure against the wall, against the surface, hard surface, to get it out as much as possible. And by the way, the cutting up is also done with liver. We, when we roast liver, we also cut it up a little bit. We even salt it a little bit. The halach is we don't salt liver in the regular way. People should not come to think that, so, you know, salt liver. You know. We do put a little bit of salt. But the the halach is in the that we don't salt liver. What happens if you salted liver by mistake, together with meat? It's a problem because liver has a lot more blood. But even if it's even if it's being salted with other meat, we hold that it's okay. Be the evid, you know. But uh, obviously, you still want to roast it. You still you can't cook it. You can only cook it after you've done it. Okay. When we get to hilchas melicha, we'll talk about that. But that's with meat. Chicken with milk, we briefly discussed, is also an issue of the rabbana, also xera. And when something is made the there's there's a little bit of a leeway that uh, the, the, even if something becomes usher, you may, as the Rambam says, you may be able to add to it. You may be able to add to the challah with the chicken to make it bottle because there's no hanan. Apparently the Rambam learns there's no, I mean, he doesn't say those words. It's because there's no hanan by basu b'cholah mit the apparently saying. Others may say there is. Ah, so he doesn't say uh, Ramah. So you know, no, but that, the, the Ramah is talking about hanan the shari surim. 
Bashar is sure. The question here is Basab Khalab Midrabanan is not exactly the Shari Surin. It's a Basab Khalav Midrabanan. It's so that's something that we may be able to review today if we have time. How do the place can hold the Gabi Basu Bakhala Midrabanan, the Gabi the Din of Hanan, which is not Hanan Bishari Surin. It's interesting. Uh, because this each one is mutter. Each one is mutter in the same time. Oh we're saying it's Asur because of Xera. It's also Midrabanan, but it's not a real Isur like every other every any other Isur Midrabanan. Okay. It appears to be that there's differences of opinion about this kind of Hanan between the Risharim. So anyway, as we, as we saw last time, the main difference between the Mechab and the Ramah is not only in the Iker Adin, in the Iker Adin of how to prepare Kachal, if at all, it's also, there's also differences in the Diyavad between them, and there's also difference in the Allah Chalamaisa Ligabed because the Mechab, who is the one that holds pretty much like the Rambam, Rabinu Tam, that a Kachal that was cooked by itself, it was... It was uh, even though he doesn't say it, the Mechaber only talks about an example of Chal that was cooked with other Basar. But Chal that was cooked by itself, according to the Shulchan Aruch and according to the Rambam, in Lechatchila it would need Kriya, Shati Ve'erev. But Bediyeva it would be motor, right? So that's the Mechaber, Shita, like the Rabbeinu Tam, like the Rambam, that Bediyeva at least, not a problem, it's motor. Of course we require you to cut it up, but if you didn't do it, don't worry about it. The Ramah says that you really should not cook khal by itself. Even if you cut it up, we don't do it. But if the event, if you cut it up, it's okay. If not, then it's also, even perhaps in Aruba. So the Ramah basically is going like Rashi. So we see from the various halachas between the Mechab and the Ramah is that the Mechab is going more like Toysus, like the Rambam, who are very lenient with khal. And the Ramo is going more like Rashi and, being con- and, and, and having the same concerns as some of the Rishonim have, that, you know, that we just avoid uh, cooking the kachal altogether by itself. Unless, of course, you're going to roast it. Roasting it, it does not have the same problem as cooking it. Roasting, I mean, even though the Mechaber does not really speak clearly about roasting kachal with other meat, it's understood that if you did some kriya to it, to the kachal, it would, shouldn't be a problem, it would be motu lechatechila. But the abbot, it's okay. The Ramah would not allow you to, to be toilet toy- to roast lechatechila with other meat, even with kriya and ticha. But the abbot, if, if you did cut it up properly, then, the kacha, then it's okay. If you, did not tear, if you did not cut it up properly, then only the one that's on top is motu, not the one that's on the bottom, because it's, it's going to spill on it. So these were some of the examples that we gave, some of the chiluk in between them. If you did cook it with other meat, but you did cut it up, according to the Ramah, it would be mutter perhaps in Merubah. According to the according to Mechaber, it's not a problem. Mechaber says you would be able, Meikar Din, to do it if you cut it up. So there's quite a bit, I mean, they're, they're basically, at, uh, at each one is at a different um, angle here. And this stems from the Machlekes that we have from Rashi and Tesis and the Rambam, each one going with, the, with a different vision. As far as the Minig, we say that the Mechaber holds, that even the Mechaber holds that the Minig is not to cook Chal with other Basar, and, and if you do it by itself, it's okay if you, if you cut it up properly. And the Ramon says, don't ever cook it, but Bitzli, by itself, you can go ahead and do it if you cut it up properly and with ticha, with ticha too. Machaber says you don't really need to be doing it by itself. But Salia, by the way, even the Ramah would hold. If you did it by itself, without any other basa, there's no problem. It's mutter. Because you're roasting it, you're not cooking it. All right. That was pretty much the review of the shitas in the various scenarios between the Mechaber and the Ramah, even though we didn't do the whole Ramah inside. That was basically the difference between them. The, there's an interesting halacha that does not appear here, and that is what happens if somebody cooked meat in the same pot that Khal was, was cooked. Here we thought we're dealing with Blias. So the Ramah that goes like the, like the Rashi that the khal that was cooked by itself, without 
the Kriyan becomes Osir in that case where the Chal became Osir, so the Pap became Osir. So the Poiskim, he said, the the Gro, the Kiva Eger, say that according to this, according to the Ramos way of learning, it would be also to cook in such a pot. The question is, what happens if somebody did anyway? So some say, these boys can say that it would be Asr. The question is, is it Asr Medina, or is it just a Chumrah? So the Isra Behet and the Gro say that this, would, this meat that was cooked later on in this pot would be Asr Medina, because you have the Tam, that's Balua, in the Kdera being Niflat. I mean, Kes Yaakov says that it's not Asr Medina. Even if you look at the Rajma, what's interesting, the Rajma in discussing this, his lotion is that he has that uh, lotion there. So if it's not it's understood that it's not, it's also understood that it's not an Iker Adin Asr. What exactly does it mean, the Asr? In other words, there wouldn't be a Xera. There any Plitas, in, in other words, in any kind of a the scenario. Solutions? Yeah, any. Uh, you know, because, I mean, apparently when he's saying that, he's referencing a scenario where you would have Bishul in that pot. So in other words, if a pot, uh, a milk and the milk that we're talking about? Right, right, right. So wouldn't, that pot would not be also to... to yeah. Well, at least not the D. Evet. Absorption is... Yeah, that's the question here. Because based on the Mechaber, Mechaber's sheet, they're going like Rabbeinu Tam, that the whole thing is mutter anyway, the Evet. So there's no real Plitas Issa. Right? It's only according to Rashi who says if you cook it even by itself without pro- properly cutting it up, it's Asr. So then you have a question about what about the Bliyas. So some of the Rishonim in the Quran you hold that basically according to that Shita, you would not be able to cook in that pot. And if you, it would be Asr. The question is, is that Asr me Karatin or not? So Rashi says that, that there's no such a Gzera, so maybe it's not Asr me Karatin, it's just a Khumra. Right, right. And that, this is an important uh, diyun when it comes to Sif Gimel. Because in Sif Gimel we will talk about a knife that you're allowed to cut up a khal, roteach, roteach, hat, the sakin shechat chubo basara. So maybe we'll leave it, we'll talk about it then. Because it, it apparently has something to do with that halakha too. Uh, all right. Anyway, I just thought it would, it would be interesting to, to, to bring it up right now. Okay, now... We need to clarify another important thing, which, which uh, Ilan, uh, you raised a question about, which I didn't fully explain, because I didn't recall simply uh, the various shitas in the Rishonim, what they say. So I couldn't tell you exactly what the reasons were then. That it applies to the Khal being still Asr, even if there was Shishim. In the Gemara, there's basically two dinim in cooking. We'll repeat so we're talking about if the, the khal was cooked meat. Right. There's meat against the khal. Or so not. the other meat is permitted. You're allowed right. to eat the, the other meat. Right. But the khal, you are not allowed to eat. Right. The, That's there, the the, the, right. There are two dinim. There are two dinim. And we're going to read it inside again. There are two dinim involved in khal being cooked with other meat. One din is, okay, fine. Let's say there's a problem now. It wasn't cut up. It's with other basar. Right. Uh, Machaber himself says, in Bishlo and Basso, Achim Mishan, Oisu Bishishim, right? So we're talking about obviously a situation where it's not cut up. The milk wasn't removed. Right. The milk, the milk was not, not removed. Sufficient. Right. He says, if you didn't cut up, you shouldn't cook it. Ben Shekhtana, Ben Shloinik, Ben Shedolo, also the Basso, Vim Ovro, Bishlo, Bifne Asmo, it's not a problem. Utolo Echle says, the problem begins, your trouble begins if that which was not cut up properly was cooked with other meat. This is even according to the Mechaber then. So what does the Mechaber say? Mishan Oisu Bishishim, right? We figure out 60. Vikhal Minaminyan. So the first Hiddush, or the first Halacha here, that is different about Khal than about most other Yisurim, is that you can include the Khal in the Shishim. So even though you need Shishim against the Khal of in the Khal, you can use the khal as part of the shishim, so basically you need 59. Because the khal is not a sir. Exactly. No. Because, khaz, because the khal is not a sir. That's exactly it. The khal min a minion. So, keitzati ma yoa kolim a khal kimo shishim a khal. A khal osur ve ashar mutar. Oh, so this is one second. So this is a second din. Not only the first din was, the first chiddush was that khal is min a minion. This is unique to khal, because the khal, like, like you said, is not the asr. It's, the milk is a problem over here. Okay? The khal itself is not a problem. So the khal is a minion. But we still need to explain exactly why khal is min a minion. That is the simple way. That's what you're saying is more or less like Rashi. Rashi says, min heterohu. 
That's all Rashi says. But we need a little bit more of a beer. Why? After all, it does become Asr. If it does become Asr, then why is it Minamiyan? So we still need a little bit more of an, a little bit more of an explanation. Because of why it becomes Asr. Right. We need more of an explanation as why this is unique, that Chal is, is Minamiyan. That's the first thing. And the second thing was, a Chal Asr. That even though you had Shishi, this Chal remains Asr. Rashan Motor. It actually has become Asr. Yes, you're right. You're right. Allah Chalamai said you're right. It has become Asr, which is true, because it wasn't to begin with. Yeah. Now, Imo Yopachos Vishishim Makol Asr. So before we go to the last din of the Mechaber, which is a very interesting Makhalik, is also Rambam and uh, the other Shitas, which, is, which touches on Hanan, possibly, or in Box of Bechalom and the Rabbanon. But before we go to that din, let's try to understand that these two dinim, why is Kachal in a minion, and why even if you had Shishim, the Kachal is also. So why is Kachal in a minion? So you have basically choices in the Rashba that explain that the Kachal itself is not Asr at all. No problem. It's not, and, it, and therefore the Kachal itself does not Asr, the Basr in the Kedera. That's the, the Kachal is not the problem. What is the problem? The source of all the problem here is the Cholov that's mechunas, that's within the walls of the Khal. The Khal of that is within the walls of the Khal. What, ha- what wonder was, how does it Asr? It Asr is because it goes and meets up with the Basr. Right? It goes up and meets up with the Basr, and that's where the problems begin. But the Khal itself was never an issue to begin with. It was like a vessel that held this milk. That's all it was, you know, it's... It wasn't an issue to begin with in the very beginning. So since it in itself is a motor, really, it's with starf. That's all they say. Rambam holds that since Kachal is midivrehem, that's all he says. Kachal is midivrehem, it's midirabana. So therefore they were makal in it, that's all he explains. All right, not everybody agrees with that way of learning pshat in why Kachal uh, is with starf. Exactly. Regarding the question of why Kal is mitzvah, the Rambam only says it's midivrei, so they were lenient with it. All right. Now, now let's go to the next point, which is where we left off. All we did is to explain. All we explained was that yes, it's true that if there is shishim, what became also here the other meat. In other words, if there was no shishim, what can become also is the other meat because of the halav that goes meets up with the with the meat, this chalav absorbs the Tama Basa too and comes back into the Kachal. But wait a minute, so what if it comes back into the Kachal? Once there's Shishim, what we're really saying is that the chalav was completely gone, right? And that's, that, I think that was pretty much your question. Once you have Shishim and that is Mutter, why shouldn't this be Mutter too? I think that's what pretty much you were saying. I mean, that was your question. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was the question. But right. now, now that the question is raised, uh, we right, right. That's, yeah, no, we, what we, did, we didn't fully explain yeah. why it is, it is uh, still also, even if there is shishim. All we said is that it's also. Of course, it's, it's also for a very unique reason. Ordinarily, it would not be also. But the question is why. We understand the other boss are becoming uh, trafe, unless there is shishim. If there's Shishim, it's motor. This Cholov that has absorbed the Tama Basar and comes back in the Kachal, uh, we understand that it has absorbed the Tama Basar, and that is why the Cholov is now Asar. But, again, the question is, why if there is Shishim, doesn't everything dissipate? Why doesn't Shishim apply to everything? And this is very interesting, because, I mean, I looked up the Makor, and here you have, like this, you have several explanations as to why the Khal nevertheless still remains also. Yeah, may, may I, may yeah. I ask you a, uh, take it a while to get yeah. yeah. Could it be that when the milk the Khal, and there's the whole Khal, right. this is the scenario. Conceivably, some of the milk could have stayed behind inside the Khal, and we would need to get the whole Khal. So we only need to get whatever actually is spread around in the pot. Right. So the worst case scenario, the Khumra, is that we assume all the milk left the Khal. Right. So I need, and how much milk was that? As much as the Khal itself is in term ice. Okay. So I need 60 against the whole size of the Khal because I don't know how much milk it contained. Worst right. case scenario. Now, if I assume that indeed all the milk left the Khal with respect to 
the status of the kachal after the taste of meat enters kachal of the other meat, yeah. then I'm turning the worst case scenario, the chumra, into now a leniency. That what? That what? Namely, how do I know all the milk left the kachal? Right. Maybe the milk remained in the kachal. Right. That's so, one. That's one of the terutzim. That's one of the esbim. Yeah. So let, let's maybe go in the order. So here you have a makhloikis rishonim in explaining why the kachal nevertheless becomes also when you have shish. Toysus and rosh, tosus and the rosh, right? That the isser is not in the basa of the kachal, just in the milk. That milk is within the kachal, in gumois, as they say. Gumois are pockets. And that milk received at the beginning process of the cooking, it received the tamha basar. Before it left. Before it, Before it left, right? Because the meat absorbs. It so at that moment, the kachal is becoming aser. Be'achila. Why does it become aser be'achila? Because now, now, if you try, even if you try to take out the cholov with kriya, sheti, ve'erev, and ticho, because you won't be able to. So then it was now the kachal actually in itself, this kachal, becomes also. So therefore, you're stuck. <laughs> right? In other words, once you began the cooking process, and no. it, it has entered it, this is according to the, one way of learning it, that it has absorbed the Tama Basar, and, and it's cooking, the cooking will not uh, later on enable you to, do, to get it out. In other words, the one that absorbed the Tama Basar is in the other. In the other, right. And that milk, you will no longer be able to right, once right. to the other. So, right, so it's right. really a two, two, two factors. Right. One is the cooking of the other prevents you from the milk, right. and that very milk, because of the cooking with other meat, now has acquired the taste of meat, and now therefore that... Yeah, but the point is, they say, you know, was, you won't be able to get it out. Okay, but the bishul, what the bishul does accomplish is that at the end, supposedly, all of it will come out. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. We can't No, what's one second? The way they learn is like this. In other words, it's really like you said. It, it, it's two things. In other words, one is that the bishul now what the bishul accomplishes that the kalb has become aser, and you, because why does it become aser? Because you cannot no longer take it out the ordinary way. But even though it's true that once you have shish through the cooking, all of it supposedly comes out. They hold that even though even if you say that it's still going to be aser, because we are goyzer, it's a goyzer that you may take it out before, and eat it before the Gemara Bishu. Wow. That's one way, one, one opinion. They hold that you, it's true, eventually at some point everything, everything is out. They say yes, even if everything is out, even, we're going to still see what you said, that not necessarily, but they say even if you say everything is out, we're a goyzer, that you may take it out before the Gemara Bishu and eat it then, and then it's also. That's one, that's one of the explanations given in the Thesis in the Rosh, yeah. You know, was if you would be moderate in the end of the bishul, if you would be moderate, then people would take it out before. That's all. The Rashba says, since the isur is only in the cholov, the chal remains also. Very simple, like Ilan said, maybe not all of it came out, which is which is something we saw in Tarulis too. Yeah. We're always concerned about that. That maybe not all of the isur left. The meat fell into several. Yeah, that's in the case of yeah. But what's interesting is I don't know why it, not everybody talks about it. But Toysus has a, another, towards the end, I think, Toysus says, bes, bes, after having said what he said, he says, besides that, it's a problem of Efshar the Soif What do you say to, what do you say to that? Uh, Rabbi Kiba Eger has a problem with this. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Toysus actually mentions that. You remember Efshar the Soif from Tarubas? Something that was Asr, became Asr, I should say, became also, mm-hmm. became Asr, is in the pot, there's shishim, you recognize the original piece that became also, it still will remain also. We don't say that it's squeezed out. The iser, now that it's in shishim, somehow, magically, is removed, is expelled. No. We don't say Efshar V'Soyichtoy. It's possible not to say Efshar V'Soyichtoy is still also. So, Toysus basically applies the din of Efshar V'Soyichtoy towards the end of Toysus here too. What's confusing about the whole iser was a drabana. Right. So to come up with such a humra of Ersha Lachto Asr by Rabbanan. Not only that, but no no no, it's different. Rabbi Kiva very simply, very, very good contrary. He said, Wait a minute, 
how, what's going on over here? He said, the Bosser is not Osser. We have a problem with the hull of its inside that's causing problems. You can't, why, how do you say Asher the Sarif here? Because it's not Hmm? We don't have it. The bus never master. Exactly. The bus really never became also. It's the hull of the inside that's causing the problems. So therefore, the Rebbe says, if that hull of eventually can go out, why not say that the bus is motor, that the hull is motor? Given that it's a anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he has a problem with the choices. Madane Yontov, I saw. I saw the Madane Yontov, interesting peerage here, that says that the din of Efshul Asurkta really is only hull by something that was once upon a time became Osir. So we say that because once upon a time became Osir, it stays Osir. Right. Yeah. Here, but never like Rabbi Kiva Eger, it never became Osir the Chal. Unless you learn Pshat in Taisis, of course, that that's the din of Efshel Asir, that any time there is a blea of any sorts, you say Efshel Asir, that's the only thing you can say. That maybe Taisis learns that Efshel Asir means any time there was a blea, and there was a bliya here, over in a sense, of, that absorbed the time of Basa. Any time there was a bliya, you say Efshel Asarita. That's the only thing you can say, but otherwise Rebbe Kiveya has... It's a little hard. It is hard to understand that, that shot in terms of... Maybe that's why they, they don't really speak about it so much. I didn't really see too much about it, just a little bit. But anyway, the Pashat answer is that it's some sort of xera, either like Elon said, not all of it has come out, or because there's, you know, we're concerned they may take it out before. Even if you say the whole thing leaves, in the very beginning... It hasn't, Some, left yet. it hasn't left yet. And of course, that is why it still remains Osir. This is, of course, Midrabanan. Now, the Ran, the Ran is a big Hiddish here. The Ran says something completely different than anybody else. You're going to like this one. The Ran says, you know why the Kal is Osir? Mishu Maris Ain. What's the Maris Ain here? If you're going to be Matir Kal that fell into a Tafshul that has Shishim, the one who sees this may make the mistake of being Matir Chaticha Nevela that fell into Shishim. Even though everything else is Mutter, and in that case the Chaticha is always also, he may make the mistake. But if so, you should <laughs> never allow. No, the Isra is Bain. You always, you A never bain. allow. You yeah. bain. bain, right? Right? So, it's a minor sign. If the Chal will become Mutter, and we know when the Chal somewhat became also, it became also. But, if you allow that, even if there's shishim, somebody may make the mistake and be matter. Chaticha nevela, which is for sure, remains also. I mean, it's always also. That's. I thought that was interesting. Okay. All right. So let's just quickly see the Ramah in Sif Beis. Actually, let's finish Sif Aleph. So we said that the first din was that the, if the Khal if there was shishim, the chal remains also the sham water. The mayor pachos mi shishim, makol also everything is also. Ben kach ben kach. However, we have another machlok in the mechaber in Rama in the second din. Ben kach ben kach im nafal gder acheres. If this chal fell again into another gder, oiso oiso. Regardless, once it has become aser, because there was no shishim, or once we say it's still aser, because even if there is shishim, it's still a, it's still a chaticha isura, right? So therefore. By, by the fact that it was cooked, even if there's shishim. So that's why it, oises, it, it again answers. Right? That's how we calculate that according to the time, that, in other words, that it's being cooked. But now, the, the thing, where is the Mechaber, where are they differ? That the Mechaber is going to say, that the second time around, we also c- consider it part of the beetle. Even though you need shishim, which means what? He learns like the Rambam, that even in the second case, you can still use it as part of the beetle process, and, and therefore only need 59. And that Ramos says no. So according to the Ramah, you would not be Metzarev the Khal to Shishim the second time around, once it has become also the first time because there was no Shishim. So that's a, that's a Machlokes. And basically this has to do with the Machlokes between Rashi, Toises, and the Rambam on how, on if a Khal becomes also to begin with. 
according to those opinions that the Khal never really became Asa, then why should it be Asa now? What really changed in the Khal? Right? Mm-hmm. According to Rashi, it's understood why the Ramah would say that, because if the Khal became Asa, then it's Asa. That's very simple. But maybe we'll leave the other possibility of Hanan, which applies over here, maybe to next time. Uh, there is the possibility that there is a Makhlaik here, like Abbe Hanan in Basel Bechol of Medir whether you say that or not. So as the Rambam is going to say, of course, that this doesn't apply here, right? There was no re- ever, there was no ever real Isser over here. And the other Shittas would hold that maybe this is a form of Hanan Medir You know, maybe we can discuss this a little bit more in depth next time, but that could be the difference between the two. So in Sif Beis Nogu Shulo Levashlo in Bosu Klal, that's the meaning the Mechaber says. Or Levashlo Belo Bosu Betigon, as far as frying it or the pastida, Masrich in Kriya. Then you have to do Kriya Sheti Berev Beticho BeKoisel. Or let's see, Kriya Sheti Berev is enough. All of that is in the Mechaber. That pastida or tigon, you should do Kriya Sheti Berev. So that's the meaning, not to cook it with other meat. By itself, obviously, he doesn't seem to say there's a problem if you cut it up properly. We're careful not to do it with other meat. Ramo. So the Ramo here is a long Ramo that goes through the, all his chumras, as opposed to the Mechaber. So we'll go through it quickly, and then he adds a few additional points at the end. Im over ubishloi. If you went ahead and cooked it. Is he talking alone now, or is he talking with other meat? Even by itself. Mm-hmm. Now he got, we, we, I, what, we did, what we did last time in the Fury series here, I gave, you to, I gave it to you all, Balpe. What the difference is between Mechav and Ramo here, I'm just going to read it inside. Im over Bishlo by itself. Im Koro Sheti Ve'erev and Tocho Bakoisel, if you cut it up properly, Yishtehate Be'dieved, what's the big deal? It's okay, you did it right, you did it by itself, fine. But even then, he'll only matter. And, but he's only matter Be'dieved, the Mokom Hefset Meruba. Wow. Yeah. So wait a second, so what's, what's Be'dieved here? The person obviously had him to cook it, he cut it. No, one yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, this, actually, this Ramo is only talking. With other meat, even ah, with other meat. meat. It's, it's also with other meat. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, only with other meat. Yeah. yeah, by itself, no, it wouldn't be a problem. Exactly. It shouldn't be a problem. So that's, he, it's not clear, because I guess this is following the Mechaber, the Nogu Shalolo Vashlin Basar Klau. And that's why he says if you did it anyway, if you cut it up, Shati the Erev, Yesh Lehatir Bidi Eved, the Mokom Hefse Meruba. Ava Balavochi and Lehatir. He's very Machmir. Uh, with other buzzer. What we do it many times, cutting it up in the various directions. This is odd if it's better than cutting it up in various directions several times is even better than Ticho Bekoiso because that lets out any milk from the gumas better than Ticho Bekoiso. It's like you want to roast it, go ahead, just do it properly. If you were roasting it by itself and you did it without kriya, it's okay. If you roasted it lechut below bosor imoy, what if you in nisla in bosor imoy? What if you roasted it with, together with other meat? Then in nikra sheti ve'erev etochav b'koyis. If you did it properly, you cut it up and so forth. Shnei mutorim vim lav. If you did not do it, then only ha elyon mutor v'tachten aser. The one that's on top is mutor, not the one that's on bottom. You didn't cut it up, even if you roasting it. He says. It's still a problem, according to the Ramah. Only according to the Ramah. The ain't less of shnehem, sheman is hape hashpud. Just maybe the, the shpud, the spit, turned over. The bedieved lo machzikin an isura, he says. We're not going to be mimachzik iser to suspect that something may have happened to, that would answer it. If it's only a suspicion. Aba lechatchila en litzloisim bosa klal. He also says that even sliyad, like bishul, you should not lechatchila cook it and roast it together with other meat. So here is where he says that even back there by itself, don't even cook it by itself, even if it's by itself. That's, that's the Shittas of Rashi. And the same would be to frying it without any meat. Because frying it, it's, you know, it's by itself. It's like cooking. Here he adds an, an additional detail, even if the khal is nisyavish. I would think if it's nisyavish, it's okay. It's dried out. There's no milk inside. No, this, the din is, as he brings down here from the Isra Heter, that nisyavish does not make a difference. 
if you went ahead and did cook it in a gdero levadoi by itself, b'di'eved muter only im nikra sheti v'ere v'tochom akoyzo. Even though he says lechatchilo today we don't do it, even the mechaber agrees. But here he says he would only be matur it if you cooked it and after having cut it up properly. Mechaber says b'di'eved it's okay. Miu im b'siyapsho. If it's completely dry, so he does give some leniency to something that kada has been completely dried up after 30 days. If then you went ahead and cooked it with even with bosor, it's motobidiyevet. So obviously, this yapsha after 30 days may make a difference. You know, the, the thing is, with drying up meat, I guess just about every meat can be dried up. You know, like, you know, like they make dried meat. Salting. Salting, yeah. Can be completely dried out, and you could. Uh, That's what they would preserve it. Preserve it. it. Right, right, right. In other words, it's possible to, to completely have it dried out. And here it says, If you did it, but the evet, this is all but the evet, it's mutter. Blasus pastida, or pastida, minachal, to make a pie from the chal, below bossa, no agubo heter, that's okay. Without any other meat, it's okay just in itself. As long as you don't bake it or fry it in a, in a frying pan. You, in other words, you roast it. So here is where he says that a machvas is like bishol bektera, at least as far as this din is concerned, which would make it aser. Unless, of course, it was cut up. But, uh, but it could only be by itself. Right. So he says, no, we, we, the meaning is, of course, to do it, but with oil, basar, but not to do it in a frying pan. Some, some are always machmir in any pastida. Im lo nisvia v'shal kachal it was completely dry. Yesh machmir in shelo lepus pastida kachal im sha im shel basar. Some are machmir not to bake pastida of kachal together with basar betanur katan in a small oven. Rak yesh la niach kachal if the one should be on the top of the oven at the mouth at the end. At the exit to let the steam out. The tovli zahel lechatchila. One should be careful with this. Af ki eno elo chumra ba'avon. This is only a chumra in itself. Why is it a chumra? Obviously, because they they both are separate. They're in the same oven. Even if it's a, it's a tan or cotton, the whole thing is a rabbanon. You know, you don't have to be so concerned. Obviously, when you're cooking, you're having the tam problem. When you're baking, I mean, all you have is maybe a zeya and all that. that all the other issues that we had in hilchos taruvas. By assuring that obviously one has to be concerned by a ton or cotton. But here he says that one should not do it, even though all of it is is a chumra. So that covers Sif Aleph and Sif Beis, and then we'll go into Gimel and Dalat, which discusses about the cutting it up using a knife to, uh, that you use, you use for buster, of course, and you want to now cut up the chal, and the last Sif, which discusses. Uh, roasting khal or salting khal with meat, which obviously one should not do, as we explained, in the same way that we don't salt liver uh, with meat, one should not do it with khal either. Some say it's okay with meat. Anyway, in all these cases, as we will see, uh, we're makal bit yevet. This is not cooking. This is just roasting, which is less of a problem, much less of a problem in cooking. And the same thing with Melita, which we, we, there's more reason to be here. Okay, so we'll leave that for next time.